Alrighty, so we're going to start by creating a simple system to manage renewals. We're going to create an automation to automatically generate a renewal opportunity. And we will also create a report or a view of upcoming renewals uh, once we set that up. We're also going to have to create a bunch of custom fields here. And uh, we are going to need a separate record type for opportunities to distinguish between sales opportunities and renewal opportunities. Um, the reasons for creating a separate record type is because there's a number of fields that you don't necessarily need on the layout of an opportunity. And it is preferable if you just uh, create a different record type. The other reason would be if you don't want to use all the same stages within your renewal process, you can also take some of these out as well uh, and associate it with a different record type. So let's get started. And we're going to start by creating the renewal record type. Then we are going to create some of these fields here, such as renewal date, contract start date, so on and so forth. So let's begin. I'm going to go into setup. We're going to go to the opportunity object. And we're going to go to record types. And we're going to make a new one. We're going to just copy the sales one. We'll call it renewal. Uh, we may need to make a different sales process, which I'll take you through that as well. And we'll make it available for everybody. We don't need to apply the layout just yet. I want to change the sales process that is associated with this. So in order, this is just going to change the stages of the opportunity. <laughs> We're going to call it renewals. We'll take out these stages, click save. Now we go back to the op. We should edit this, change the sales process to be renewals. Then we are good to go. Now, when it comes to page layouts, we're going to want to make a new page layout and associate it with uh, that other, we'll call this renewal opportunity layout. Save it. And essentially, we just want to change this to remove some of the fields that we don't need. So we can get rid of this entire section, the sales handoff. And we don't need things like lead source, uh, but we, we will probably need a section for contract fields, but we have to add that to both record types. So we'll come back to that. So now we have two record types, and then we just wanna make sure that we assign them properly. So here we have the master, we have renewal. So we wanna set the page layout for the renewal record type to be the renewal opportunity layout. Now, anytime you go to a renewal op, you'll see a different layout. So one last thing I want to do is add the record type to the actual layouts here, because then we can change it and see what happens when we do that. Okay, so let's refresh. We're gonna have to clear the cache and refresh, so I'm just gonna log out. And I will log back in. Okay, so we've created two record types. We've adjusted the sales process and we've adjusted the page layout for both record types. So right, right now I'm looking at a sales record type You'll notice one, two, three, four, five, six stages in the path here or the stage. And you'll also notice the sales handoff section. When we change record type to renewals, 
uh, you'll see the sales handoff section disappear and you'll also see the stages, uh, the number of uh, stage values reduce as well. So now you can see there's just four stages and you'll also see the page layout has changed here. Uh, so this is something that we're just gonna wanna keep in mind uh, as we go through this. Um, typically you're gonna start with a sales opportunity and when it gets closed one, it's going to automatically generate a renewal. So uh, we'll get into that in the next video, but I just wanted to show you how to create a different record type to separate uh, the sales process and sales layout from the renewal process and layout as well. Thanks.